Good morning and welcome again to yet another press briefing as we move along with this restoration and rebuilding of our lovely Dominica. We give you daily updates as to what's happening and today I have a few updates from the various utility companies and others which I'll read to you. They couldn't be here themselves. Of course, in this rebuilding effort, it is difficult just to come just for a few minutes because they need all the minutes that they can, they can hear. Now, I also must welcome the radio stations, DBS Radio, Kyrie FM, and Vibes Radio. Let me also welcome some members, some visitors here who have come to assist us. Mr. Ken Weber of the, is a Scientology volunteer minister, and Mr. Brent Hector, who may not be here right now. Oh, he is. He's just come in. He was stuck in traffic for a while. That's why he said that. But he's here now. And Mr. Brent, Mr. Brent Hector is of ITNAC, which stands for, is there not a cause? We'll know more about that as we go along. My name is Dennis Joseph. Let me read to you first a notice from the police. New traffic arrangement for vehicle for vehicular traffic entering the city from the north and south from 6 a.m. on Tuesday, October 10th, as of course was yesterday. Motorists entering the city from the north on approaching the area of Linhurst Funeral Home will be channeled through two lanes to enter the city and one lane to exit. A checkpoint will be in place at that location, manned by police officers. One of the two lanes designated for entry into the city will be for emergency vehicles, essential workers, government officials, and other accredi accredited persons. Access will only be provided on a needs basis through the secondary entry lane. Parking for motorists entering the city from the north will be provided at the Canefield Plain Field. Public transportation will be available on site. Motorists who are denied access through the checkpoint will be directed back to the Canefield Plain Field parking area. Persons who are granted access through the checkpoint parking will be provided, rather parking will, will be provided at the Lindo Park in Goodwill. Motorists entering the city from the south on approaching DBS radio, they will be diverted onto High Street through the Botanic Gardens and onto the Link Road to exit the city. Only emergency vehicles, essential workers, government officials and other accredited persons will be allowed to continue north along Victoria Street. For those motorists who wish to do business in the city, parking will be provided at the Newton Savannah and the Botanic Gardens. Security will be provided at the various parking locations. And the police are soliciting the support of the general public in the quest to reduce vehicular traffic in the city so that the cleanup process can be expedited and the utility services can do their work unobstructed so that the city can realize some level of normalcy. That's a notice from the police concerning vehicular traffic. We all know that we, we get backed up for a very long time, sometimes two hours just to get from uh, two miles because everybody wants to get into the city but this is to try to regulate this and make it easier so that Mr. Brent Hector will not get stuck anymore <laughs> and people like that the city. I have some other notices and as I said the, the persons involved cannot be here but they certainly have given me the information to pass on to you and first of all from Domlek that is the electricity services of Dominica. And they're saying here that areas, new areas were powered up rather today, which was the 9th of October, a couple of days ago. Additional areas were powered up in Roseau. Areas like First Caribbean International Bank, Flow, 
Flow, the cell phone company. Marpin 2K4 Limited, the TV company. Sections of Kennedy Avenue from Bath Road to Great George Street. Sections of King George V Street from the Old Market to Cross Street. Sections of Long Lane from the Old Market to Cox Street. And sections of Hanover Street from the Old Market to Cox Street. Now the areas to be powered up later, that was Monday. So they should be powered up by now. But I'm reading this as it's given to me. The areas to be powered up, Phone Shark, Alex Boyd Knight's Law Firm, the Welfare Division, and the Parliament Building. And during this week, Domlek says that they will continue to work on restoration in Roseau, and the focus will be on Turkey Lane and Independence Street from Turkey Lane to Bath Road. They wish to remind persons to refrain from piling debris, dirt, galvanized, and so on at the base of the poles. It makes it difficult for the workmen to get on the poles. Businesses and homeowners whose structures will, com will compromise should commence the process of recertification. That's Domlek. Now there's Dawasco. Dawasco is a water company. Of course, you have been drinking bottled water, but we're also known as the Isle of Water. Except that there's water. for a while there was water, water everywhere, another drop to drink. But we're, we're, we're coming on. And water has been restored. That's the update of, from to, of today, October 11th, to the city of Roseau. Foncole Industrial Estate, New Town, parts of Kings Hill, Maho, parts of Canefield, parts of Goodwill, Bath Estate, Tarish Pit, Rosa Valley, Loda, Cochrane, parts of Coptal, Vieques, Penville, between Sinicou and Salibia, Calibishi, Mont John, Vivesi Week, Castle Bruce, Grand Fond, Salisbury, Portsmouth, Cottage, Tukari, part of Grand Bay, section of Point Michel, and Lubier. Working hard, Domlek says, to restore to other areas. Updates will follow and they of course are asking people to conserve the water and not to use it just for lawns, washing vehicles and things like that. That's the Domlek, that's the Dawasco update. Dawasco, for those who wonder, stands for Dominica Water and Sewage, I think. I think. <laughs> but it's about water. And there's an update from the First Caribbean International Bank as of today. The hours of operation 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Automated banking machines are operational 24-7 and a full suite of services available. Then there's DASPA. That's the Port Authority. Seaborn came to Dominic on Tuesday. That is an update, of course. Seaborn came to Dominic on Tuesday to conduct an assessment and they're expecting a flight with passengers to arrive today from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Uh, that is this afternoon, actually. And they're working on the ferry terminal to have opera operations shifted from Woodbridge Bay back to ferry terminal and they aim to complete that for this weekend. One more thing, an update from the Public Works as it relates to access. Vehicular access has been restored in all areas except villages beyond Geneva Bridge, that is Tau, Font saint jean and Bagatelle. I just have to read this again, it's very short, so I think I should just do it again. Vehicular access has been restored in all areas except villages beyond Geneva Bridge, that is the south of the island, that is Tau, Font saint jean and Bagatelle. These are the updates, and I'm sure we all listen attentively. People want water and electricity restored to their homes as soon as possible. That is not going to be entirely possible with electricity because there has to be retesting of those homes. The wires have been flung all over the place. Bulbs are where bulbs shouldn't be, and all things like that. You know the drill, we have to do it all over again. So don't just sit back and think, okay, we're going to get electricity tomorrow. You've got to get your house retested. And I think you do that 
down on the in the other building that's the the other the government headquarters building which is across the road from here i think on the first floor there is the electricity people those who do the testing and you got to go in there and see if they can come across and test your lights your electricity your your home conditions so that they can advise domlek to get into your home and get you lighted up now as i said before we do have with us from the church of scientology if i'm correct yes i am I'm sure a lot of you must have heard about it it's on the news every now and then and we have the scientology volunteer minister mr ken weber he's here and certainly would like to hear a few words from him. Mr. Ken Weather, the mic is yours. 